Welcome back to the Blossoming Classroom. I want to talk to you today about picture schedules. If you're involved in NACI or NACI accreditation, you're going to see in their information that they want a schedule. And many quality programs in many states also talk about a visual schedule. And so when I walk into a classroom, a lot of times I will see a schedule up on a parent board that has nothing to do with the children. Or I see a schedule that's all words. Sometimes they have clocks that's on the wall that's not appropriate for our younger children because they don't read. That might be appropriate for our school agers. What we really want to see when we walk into a older toddler room, preschool room, pre-K room, we want to see a schedule that is down at eye level for those children. We want to see pictures of children in the classroom and what they're supposed to be doing at that time. And we want it to be used interactively. So an example would be, as I'm transitioning from snack time to free center time, as a teacher, I would walk over to my schedule and direct the class to the schedule. Okay, class, here I am at our schedule. Here's that picture of us eating our snack and we're all done. So I'm either gonna turn the picture around or you can take it off the wall and put it in an all done folder. And now we're at free center time. What this does is one, you can give you another helper job if you want a child to help you do that, which is great because we can always use more helper jobs. It also allows the children to have a concrete tool to see how much of their day has already passed by and how much of the day they have left till mom and dad come to take them home or until nap time or until circle time or maybe their favorite part of the day is you have a, a time of your day where they're singing and dancing and you have that on your schedule and that's their favorite part of the day. They know exactly when they're going to get there. When you have a concrete schedule that you are using interactively with the children that they can see their day passing by, their behavior improves because they can actually tell how much longer they're going to be in that classroom or how much longer until their favorite activity. When you do not have that in your classroom, when that part of the puzzle is absent, when children come into your classroom, they think they're going to be in there forever. And they may start out with good behavior and then go into really poor choices pretty quickly. Or they may come in a hot mess because they don't know how long they're going to be in that room because they really can't tell the passage of time. And even though you may tell them, mommy, daddy, will come get you, they don't know when that is. And so they may act out because of that. So that's why when you hear from NACI or you hear from your quality program that you need a picture schedule that's interactive and on the wall, it's really important to classroom management. If you would like to see more examples of visual schedules, if you want to do a deeper dive into why this really is important into your classroom, please come on over to my website. I would love to have that conversation there as we can really explore and deep dive into environment and why these things are so crucial into classroom management and how they support challenging behaviors in your classroom. Thank you for watching my video today. If you've liked the content, please like below. If you would like to subscribe, that button's right here and you'll know when the new content comes out. If you have a question or a comment, again, comments are below and I'll do my best to respond to you quickly. If you would like to do a deeper dive into the subject matter, please join me on my website listed below and I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.